right. Uh, hi guys, peace out, whatever, all that normal stuff. <laughs> if you're watching this after it's all processed, uh, you know the normal score. This is a live stream, you won't be able to comment in the actual live chat. But feel free to leave a comment down below and hit that thumbs up, all that normal sort of stuff. Anyway, we've got a new arrival coming. Ooh. Um, hey JP, how's it going mate? Yeah, we've got a new arrival coming um, tomorrow or Wednesday. And uh, it got shipped today, so we'll see how that one works. But it's not staying here in my reptile room. It's staying at my partner's house because her, it's her son's. It's a gift to him sort of thing. Not by me. I never gifted it to him. Somebody else did. But I've got an enclosure all the way down there. That bottom one. Uh, not that one. That one there. That one, I've got to try and get it out because that's the enclosure it's going to go in. But everything's all wired up, mismatched. I've got the wrap thing that over there. I've got the invert rack to try and may have to shift. I've got all the rubs on the floor with the boas in. They've got to shift them. So I've just got a lot of work here doing just to get ready for this new arrival. So um, while I'm working hard, I figured I may as well bring you all along. Um, how did um, BTS go, JP? I heard you had quite a good day. I've not yet watched the video, but I've not had the time of day to do anything. Well, I've got to put all my stuff down. I've got to sort out all these bits as well. Um, oh, sweet. Girls, don't bite me. One of my baby boas is shed. Look how cute that is. Oh, that's always got to check the... To be honest, I think... Oh, yeah, perfect eye caps. I think I'm just procrastinating because I really am not looking forward to uh, messing around over there. But we've got to start. I've got to shift all the stuff off the top first. Then I've got the Super Pastel Yellow Belly Royal Python. I've got to remember how I wired all this up as well because I think two of them are wired up on the same thermostat. But either way, I've got to shift a load of them so I've got to get to the Viv at the bottom and possibly have to jiggle the wiring around and all that sort of stuff. All the way from the USA. Thanks for tuning in. But yeah, I think I'm going to start by moving some of these rugs on the floor because they're just going to get in the way. But either way, I've got to get that done anyway. Why is that so wet in... Oh, God, yeah. Hello, girl. Oh, yeah. So how is everyone? Everyone doing okay? Let's have a look. Uh, Ah, sorry for the wobbling. Hey Gandalf, anybody who's here, go and subscribe to Gandalf because um, she's so close to 100 subscribers. She's got an awesome giveaway when she does get to 100 as well. And don't make the same mistake I did. It is a she. <laughs> uh. Oh, Macy. Oh, he's still not doing the best, are you? That one that I've just picked up there, that boa, it's only a baby boa, um, but it was a rescue. I've only just got that, the video's to come, so I'll leave that one to you. But yeah, we've got a surprise animal going in the three foot viv. Stick your comments, let me know what you guys think's going in there. I can tell you it's a Mexican species. So I may as well bring these along with this one. Sorry about the jiggly wibbly wobbly camera. That's a funny word. <laughs> I've got these three to move. I've got the um, pokey just there. Just down the bottom corner. Batman frog. Is the scorpion even out? I've never not seen the scorpion outfit. Age. Oh god. That burrow on the back's a bit bigger. Yeah, we've got it. Did work. I am oh god, you've gone wonky. Ha! <laughs> I am just procrastinating because really this is I've been putting this off because there's a lot of work to do with this enclosure. Hello, Mookie. Let's get you over here. There you are, buddy. Yeah, I've got a lot of work. I'm going full full custom background on this, and it's got to be done tonight, simply because it needs time to aerate and stuff like that, because the animal could be arriving as early as tomorrow. So I need to get that done. I'm doing the whole um, spray foam background, covering it and all that sort of stuff. I'm still debating whether to just do the back or to do... The front, uh, the back, and both sides. 
I've still got to look into the humidity. It might be a reptile. It's in the three foot enclosure, so it might be. Where's this one going? Uh, right. Where the heck can I put that? Where can I put Ben the Batman frog? Uh, ah, I'll move the caps cut because that's an easy one to decide. <laughs> Actually, I need to take four or so tongs with me. Whoa! Let's have a look at some comments just because I'm procrastinating. Uh, don't know how to do it. There we go. Uh -huh. uh, let's put it down there. We need a bearded dragon. Now, the bearded dragon. Hey. Sorry, Ben. Got to move you. I oh, know you don't normally like being moved. So, who did go to BTS? What was your deal of the day? Everyone always gets a bargain, so uh, let me know. Yours was. Hello, mate. Where's that big bucket that I had? Is that out here? Back again. Your pink bucket. So famous, this bucket. I'm just going to chuck a few bits in here that I do need to take for that enclosure. Like, brick of cocoa fibre. The ex-wife. I've already got some substrate there. What else do I need? Uh, forceps, I'm throwing them in that. <laughs> so guys, let's have a look at your comments about BTS. Ah, oh, there is no comments about BTS. It's amazing where you stuff stuff in your reptile room, isn't it? That's that um, mesh that I use for my bioactive enclosures. I can go up there. Right. Now. Right. Oh, I can't procrastinate anymore. I've got to... Oh, look at the leopard geckos looking at us. They're like, oh. Check it out. There they are. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Beautiful day in England. There we go. Yeah. Um, right, I'll move that there. Let's see how much stuff's going to fall off this. It's just packed up with crap. Right. Oh, what's that? It's got a piece of wire stuck to it. That's not good. Sorry guys, I know it's dim. There we go. Look at that, nothing's fell off yet. That's the best shelving unit thing I've ever found. I found it at a kid's car boot sale. It was awesome. Ah, ah pressed the wrong button. Hello again. It is me. I was, I was dead, dead good that I couldn't go to BTS. I really, really wanted to go. Um, but... Finances, they're just they just are what they are, aren't they? That's about the best you can say it really. Um This is gonna be one of those things where I'm gonna be moving this there, moving this there, dodging this over there. Right. So I think there is two microclimate B1 thermostats. There's one there. And there's one I think over here. Yes, just there. But I don't actually know what's wired into what. That's bad, isn't it? That's real. God, I'm getting fat. Ah. Sorry, I know I keep walking away from the camera, so you probably can't hear me very well. I'll move this back over here some or something. Um, try and find a place to stand you. Do, do, do. Not very stable, but it'll do. In the wise words of Shrek, it'll do, donkey. Um, so... Let's have a go at the soup pasta. No, I don't. So, thermostat probe comes in from the top. Change that to. Aha! I have found you, wise one. So, this one is for the soup pasta yellow belly. Ch chase the heater cable. Which is that one, that one. 
that one, that one, and into that one. So in theory, then you hate it when wires just get crossed and twisted. I mean, look at that. How, how did that end up like that? But how oh well, we work through it. Ooh, there's one thermometer. So this one seems to be plugged into just one. Right, so that's that one. Um, that is plugged into up here. Should, in theory, be yes. There's that bit on. So I can unplug that and plug that straight into there. And now I've got a white cable. I don't know what it goes to. So that's a super pass that I'll unplugged anyway. I know this is a bit boring and I'm a bit out of the way, but I just thought I'd bring these along anyway. Because we have got an exciting new animal coming. And I've put my music down. There it is. Yes, I need a couple of vents. The big ones or that one? Take the two big ones. I'm going to put my big bucket there. And that can go on there. Yeah, this new animal, I can't wait to get it. I've been wanting to get it for ages. Um, it's not for me, it's for Kieran, my um, girlfriend's son. Um, but I, I wanted to get it at Doncaster. And by the time I eventually got around to going around and having a look at the animals, they were all either sold out or too small and not really as hardy as what I wanted. And um, then I thought, it's okay, BTS is just down the road. I'll get it from BTS. And then financially, I just couldn't go to BTS. I was absolutely gutted. Oh, here we go. Ah, the leopard geckos. But yet, yeah, somebody has, well, a very, very kind man has gifted one to Kieran. And then, um, I couldn't thank him enough. I'll, you don't see things like that every day. You okay, girl? Don't you look at me in that tone of voice, man. Actually, Before I start lifting the enclosures, I'll take the water dishes out. <laughs> got that there. Oh, so has anyone got any ideas yet? Oh, I wonder where that went. It's amazing what you find behind this. An old lip piercing kit to uh, pierce my lip. Keep that safe in case I want to do the other side. I'm going to get a pet giraffe. Oh, do you really think? Imagine how the hate I'd get sticking that on YouTube, sticking a giraffe in a three-foot vid. <laughs> right, let's get this heat cable out of the way. I've got to find which thermostat I plug that heat cable into. And I'll drop that just there. Along with that and that. Right, where shall I... Ah. Ah. I didn't fall. <laughs> and our boreal viv with a long chimney on the top of it. <laughs> right. I need to get this one out of the way, but not too far out of the way. So I shall put it there. Mate, you coming to move? Sorry, mate. I know you don't like it. God. Oh, there's Charlie, the super pass on yellow belly. Sorry if you saw me butt on that one. Woo. <laughs> you two ready? Actually, before we take you two, I'm going to check for some eggy wakeys. Shall we um, quickly look for some eggs? Leopard gecko eggs. I'm absolutely gutted, you know. I thought I would have had hatched by now, but I checked some of them just now and they're not hatching yet. They should do. They're on day 50. Uh, so they should be getting very close. Sorry, I'm just messing around with the tripod, guys, because we can have a look at these, this egg box and just see what has come about. Da -da -da. 
Don't you hate tripods when you're live? Wah! I look drunk. Right, so, set you down there. Don't look at me junk. And spin you around just like that. Boodoo! So that one, there's nothing in it, but we'll check it in a minute. But this is the big one. Now, let's have a look. It's looking positive to an end. Because um, obviously it's all shallow down this side. It's all been dug up. But I would say this side's the um, target. Just simply because that side seems to be the softest. And the most dug up. Well, the, where they've pushed it all up. Let's have a look underneath it first. Uh, no, I can't see anything underneath it. But let's uh, have a little play. Just see what we can dig up. You never know. To be fair, I am actually... What's that? No, that's not one. I am expecting some fairly soon. Oh, but a ball! There we go, guys. We've got a leopard gecko egg there. There should be another one. There you go. Boof. Two leopard gecko eggs. Let's keep digging around and just see if that seems to be it. Just one set, right? So I'm gonna have to get a tool and get them set up. And uh, where is my hat? Right. I hate it when you lose stuff all the time. Uh, right, let's move that over there. Have a look in here. I've got too many cubby holes, that's what the problem is. No, it's not in there. Where's my hat right on? I hate it when you put stuff down and can't remember. Um. I've lost the hat right. No, I can't see the screen now, so. Um. Oh, and I found it. Exactly where I left it. Typical, isn't it? But that's all I'm using. There we go. I'll need to get some more of that, I think. But then again, we're coming towards the end of the season, so I may not need it. And for the lid, where's me spiky? And for the lid, I'm just going to drop, drop one hole this side. This is great procrastination. Um, one hole this side. And I'll grab a label. Right, stick the label on the side. What's the date today? Um. Anyone know what the date is? Stick it in the comments because I'm lost. <laughs> right. There they are, the pearly whites. And the last one, which is just there. There we go. Set up decent leopard gecko eggs. Now the two holes, which I've done, was there and there, so I'll put them that way. Off to the incubator they go. Ah, I've got to dodge that. I'll have to go back in later and stick the date on these. And drop them in there, just like that. Put them there. Spot on. Oh god, it fliggled. But that was an eventful um, procrastination, wasn't it? Right, next job. Now I've just got to go in and check and see if they're um, 
see if they're okay after that lay. I'll have another double, quick double check because that's the problem. There is a lot of substrate in here. Um, and it can get quite compact. Just have another flick around, see if there's another clutch in. It doesn't seem to be. But. There we go, that's that one. I'll tell you one thing though, they've started to lay in this new one and not the old one, which is quite fascinating. That's that one done. But I'll still leave the old one in there just to uh, be safe. We'll have a check in here anyway, just to be sure. Yep, no, no no eggs in this one. But again, just give it a quick go over. There we go. And I'll drop them back in. This one first. That one goes in there. And that one just goes down there. Let's get back to what we were originally doing. I'll move the pen out of the way. Oh, right. Again, moving the tripod around, so I'm sorry, guys. Oh, there we go. So I've got to now work out or try and remember how I wired them two up because the bottom one's coming with me. And then I've got to put it all back together. I cannot wait for this amazing animal. I'm still in shock that someone gifted it to him. Kieran is going to be absolutely over the moon. Now what I've told him is he's getting an animal off the person he's getting it off. And he knows, he, he met, the per okay so he's getting an animal off Peter Webster. And um, he knows he's getting it off Peter but he doesn't know what he's getting. And he's met Peter before we met up at the Northern Invert Show. It was absolutely amazing. I can't wait for it. His face is going to be an absolute picture. It's going to be amazing. Sorry, girls. Um, right, here we go. That's the thermostat. Right, here we go then. That's how it's done. Right, so. That's that one done. So the girls can go. I'll shut that down. Drop the girls down over there. You two ready for a roller coaster? Oh yeah. Sorry girls, I know you don't hide with water stuff. Oh! And now finally, this one. This has got right. I have no idea how I'm gonna move that one because I've got no room in the reptile room now. Huh. Right. I'm gonna take it straight out out of the room, I think, if I can carry it. Girls for now. Well, sort out the wiring because I forgot about that one. So we've got the thermostat, we've got a heat map, and try and figure a way of getting it out of the reptile room. Oh god, this is going to be fun. without shutting the door on myself. Woo. 
Is it me or do bits get heavier and heavier and heavier the seconds? Um, right, what I'm doing is, I had a viv down the bottom corner there. I've got a surprise animal coming um, tomorrow or the day after. And um, it's going to be going over here. It's not going to be going over here. What am I saying? The animal's going at my girlfriend's son's in his bedroom. Uh, because the, obviously the gifts, the animal's for him. It's been gifted to him and stuff like that. But I've got a spare enclosure down here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Peter Webster's gifted a animal to um, my girlfriend's son, Kieran. And um, I've got a spare enclosure down there, so I figured he could use that one. It's got the correct heat and everything. It's got the thermostat and everything all there ready and waiting. The only problem is I've got to get it from here to there. And it was at the bottom. And I've only lifted a few vivs and I'm knackered. But done a bit of uh, egg diving as well uh, for the leopard geckos. We found a couple of, uh, well, we found one clutch of decent eggs. Where is the brush? But yeah, we're going to keep that animal as a surprise for now. Um, just to keep you all guessing, really, because I'm a dick. Right, guys, now that that's cleared out over there, obviously I've got to get the sweeping brush in and get it, give it a sweep and stuff like that. What shall I put at the bottom? Shall I put the leopard geckos at the bottom or the super pastel yellow belly? Um, actually, I'll put the leopard geckos on the... Yeah, I'll put the leopard geckos on the bottom. Um, or shall I? Oh, I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. <laughs> uh, where's my brush? Brush. Right, let's clear this all up. That can go with my wet and pink bucket. Where is shot? Oh, look, last season's late ups. That's the joy of moving vids. <laughs> so, that goes round to that, that goes round to that, that goes over there. Right, so. What's everyone saying? Is anyone saying anything? Blah de blah. Again, procrastinating. Yeah, Peter Webster is amazing. Oh god, I've got Viv dotted all over the place where I took it off there and put it over there and then there and then here. Obviously my boa constrictor rugs have been moved and everything. So it's just dodging everything at the minute, it's a pain. But needs to be done. <coughs> right, so first things first. That can go there. There we go. It can go on there. And there. And then, first one on the bottom, which is. I'll put the super pastel yellow belly on the bottom. I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> right now, where's the cables there? Same on this side. There we go. I'm getting too old. But time to plug it all in. So we have got, right, let me think of this one through. That cable is a waste. That can go over there. Uh, that's a lid off something, so I don't need that. That's the thermostat for this one. 
and that's the mains. So where's the main plug? No, it's not. That's the sensor. This is why God invented thermostats to annoy us all. There we go. That can plug in down there. Oh, wrong way. Chase that wire over there. And right, there we go. That down there. You guys do exactly the same. Thread all the wires on one side, so if it's a mess on wires, it's all on one side. <laughs> right, let's get the girls back on top. That can go there, I don't need that now. Uh, yeah. And that's the same wires down here and into there. Plug into that, perfect. Perfect. Keep now the temperature. Right, so that bit's done. <sighs> Gotta clean that bit. Let's have a look at the comments. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. No, not at all. Not in one room. Not not by far. I mean in here, obviously. This is sort of like my main reptile room. I've got one down there in bedroom. And then obviously I've got the big one up there. Sorry, again, this room's a mess because I'm decorating for that at the minute. I've got a boa over there. I've got stuff on top of that viv up there as well. So yeah, I've pretty much got animals everywhere, shall we say. I'd love to have it all in one room so that when the gas man comes around, he doesn't get too scared but I don't have one room big enough. <laughs> right, well, I've got to put the water bowl back in with Charlie. Right, dude, can you please move out of your way so that I can put the water bowl back in? You're going to tag me, aren't you? You did last time. Be don't be a dick. Where is the snake hook? My sneakers. This. There it is. What kind of mood are you in today, mate? Oh, you're not in a bad mood. Right. Shift over there. Thank you. There you go, mate. Put your hide back on top of you. Could do with getting you a better one, really, couldn't we, mate? You too happy. You too loved that, did you? Did you? Oh, you big pansies. <laughs> ah, I forgot I was live. <laughs> um, right, so that's those two done. I'll just get the stuff back on top. But, I want to give it a wash first. I'm back! I'll do for that. Let's start getting the animals back on the top. Right, which way did I do it? I did Ben over in that corner. Just like that. Then in the middle was the um, oh, and in the middle, Vietnamese scorpion. I'll put these back over here. While I'm here, I'll put these um, fill up his fill up his water bowl. I can't speak English, honest. 
just want to check that back door over as well. And what's next? A la Pokey. Pokey the Theory of Regalis. This absolutely amazing bioactive enclosure. But you need to water some water as well. Oh god. It's too hot to be working in a reptile room today. He bowls it for the door then. Nearly pooped myself. Oh, that looks lonely with it being so low now. I need another viv on top. Mind you, I put the rack on top. That'll free up that space. Right, now I've got to try and get that back in there. But I'm not sure it's actually going to fit for some reason. I'll push it to the back wall and have a look. This is one of those balancing acts where you've got a stack of um, shelving and you're trying to lift it all without dropping any, any, anything. Please fit, please fit. Oh, I'm good. Boom. A la voila. Whew. Right, sweeping brush that I need to... Actually... I need the uh, silicone gun to be able to um, do the background on that new enclosure in a bit. But I don't need some silicone, so I'll drop that down there. Poodles. There we go. Oh, let's have a look at some of the comments. It really is like Tetris. Imagine what, oh God, I, I remember what it used to be like, where I had like six vivs all on top of each other, next to each other, but then I had to colour coordinate every single one of them, and oh God, it was a pain. Leopard geckos seem extremely active, though. Mind you, they've just been disturbed, so they will do. Even the male's out and about. What I've got to do, oh wait there, do I need that? No I don't need that, so I'll stick that on my spares. Uh, this animal needs a water bowl, or I've got one there, I think I've got one there. Oh, I need me... What? Guys, amazing what you find. How cool is that? Just found, I'm, I must have got it for something. Found it on my window edge, I'll take that, because you'll appreciate that. Right, sweeping brush, that's what I was going to do. Where did I put that? There. I knew it was around somewhere. Remember, do you know when you like clean out underneath the sofa and you move the sofa and you're absolutely gobsmacked with what you find underneath it? That's exactly what this is. that bit done. Now I've just got to decide what I'm actually taking with me for, um, I need that, turn that off, that's me with disinfectant, yep, uh, 
water bowl. I think I've got one there, but I suppose I better take one just to be safe. I want that. That's coming with me. It's not the best water bowl, but I'll take it just to be safe in case I haven't actually got one there. Because I think I have. I think I've got a lovely little rocky sort of one. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Uh, substrate, substrate. Right. Mexican hills, the hilly areas on western Mexico are sandy and um, so sand, cocoa fibre, leaf mulch mix. I've got cocoa fibre, I've got sand. And I've got the little, yep, that's some sorted. Not glue gun. I've only, I've only got that much glue left, so I'm not sure it's going to really work too well. But, again, I may need it, so I'll take it just to be safe. I'm really struggling. You can guarantee as soon as I leave here, I'm going to go, oh, do you know what? I, sh I should have remembered this and that. But, oh, that's what I was going to grab. Little bits of cork bark. Think. Oh no, I've got to do the bow constrictors. Huh. Right. That come out like right. that. Right and lays down like that. And then back down. And over. There's the bow is done, I've just got to move them back into place. Right, I've got to get these number raw, number correct. Catch cup, that's important. Right, number correct. Ah, oh, you poor bastard. But, we've picked up um, a baby boa constrictor rescue. Um, it's found in someone's garden. Well, it wasn't, it was found in a plant pot at the front of their house. But, I'll tell you, it's a poor condition. It's dead dehydrated and it's just not very healthy but i fed it and it has passed its waste it has poo pretty decent so i'm um, got good high hopes for him that's number six right so this one's next then you my friend are a dart scent right then that one and then I spent most of my life cleaning guys. <laughs> and time for waters. Guys, please be good enough by me this time. Hey, I never got bit by number three. Number three normally bites me. It's 
so I'm going to get your comments because a few people can comment. Uh, do you know what, mate? I'm, I, I, I want a rack for the snakes, but um, I'm not a snake breeder. I'm not anything like that. I just come across these boa constrictors um, through fortune, really. Um, they were sort of given to me to see if I could find homes for them. And do you know, it's been actually quite tricky to find homes. <coughs> one of them's um, for one of my subscribers, uh, Simon's Eight Leg Freak House. He's took number two, or is it number three? I don't know, I've got it wrote down. Um, I'm tempted to keep uh, number one because she is absolutely stunning. I'll give her a little bioactive setup. Um, they, they seem to be um, tricky to sell. Or I keep having a lot of people say, Oh, can I come and have a look at them? Yeah, no problem. And they, they they'll cancel at the last minute. So I think I'm going to start doing something along the lines of deposit systems and stuff like that. Or uh, it's amazing how many people I've um, they've said they'll have it, and then I've asked for proof of their enclosure and all, and their knowledge and stuff like that, and they've just not got back to me. But the right home is around for them somewhere. Oh, that's done. That's done. Just got to get it all out to my car now. Yeah, guys, I'm going to end it here and um, try and wrestle this light into my car and see where I go from there. Um, if you have any guesses from what the secret animal is going to be, it's going to be in a three-foot uh, vivarium. It's going to be um, a Mexican species off western Mexico. And um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Peace out.